The evolution of world's first AI robot, Sophia. For almost a century, futurists have foreseen the emergence of a new species, namely the robot. These mechanical marvels would not only walk and talk, but they would also perform all of the chores. Humanoid robots are predicted to exist and interact with humans in the real world, as well as to satisfy the requirements of physically disabled people. These robots must be capable of dealing with a wide range of tasks and objects encountered in dynamic, unstructured settings. You might be wondering, is it for real? A robot performing human activities? Well, it might seem creepy, but technological advancements have made it possible. One such humanoid robot that we are going to discuss in today's video is Sophia. The world's first AI humanoid robot, and how she's going to change our lives forever. Buckle up and keep an eye out for what else I have in store for today. Hello guys, welcome to AI Universe, your one-stop YouTube channel for all latest technological news. Before moving on, kindly subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends and family. With that being said, let's get started. It's been years in the making, but it's finally here. Sophia is a social humanoid robot created by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong. Sophia was activated on February 14th, 2016, and made her first public appearance at South by Southwest SXSW in Austin, Texas, in mid-March 2016. Sophia has been featured in numerous high-profile interviews and has been covered by media outlets all around the world. She was granted Saudi Arabian citizenship in October 2017, making her the first robot to be granted citizenship of any country. Moreover, she was designated the United Nations Development Program's first innovation champion in November 2017, making her the first non-human to receive such an honor. Before moving on, let's shed some light on Sophia's history. Sophia was activated for the first time on February 14, 2016. The robot, which was inspired by the ancient Egyptian queen, Nefertiti, Audrey Hepburn, and its inventor's wife, Amanda Hansen, is distinguished by its human-like appearance when contrasted to prior robotic models. Sophia's architecture, as of 2018, consists of scripting software, a chat system, and OpenCog, an AI system geared for general reasoning. Sophia can imitate human motions and facial expressions and can answer inquiries and hold a rudimentary discussions on predetermined topics, that is, on the weather. Sophia employs Alphabet Incorporated's, Google's parent company, speech recognition technology and is intended to get smarter over time. Sarah Proc's text-to-speech engine provides speech synthesis, as well as the capacity to sing. Hanson Robotics created Sophia's intelligence software. The AI program analyzes conversations and collects data that it can use to better future responses. Sophia was created by Hansen to be an appropriate companion for the elderly in nursing homes, as well as to assist crowds at huge events or parks. He has stated that he thinks the robot would eventually be able to communicate with other humans and learn social skills. Sophia is touted as a social robot, capable of mimicking human social behavior and eliciting feelings of love in people. Hanson Robotics also produced at least nine robot humanoid siblings for Sophia. Let's move on and discuss some of the prominent features of this humanoid robot. Sophia's visual environment is provided by a computer vision system that interprets input from cameras within her eyes. It can track faces, maintain eye contact, and recognize people using a natural language subsystem. It can process voice and hold conversations. Sophia was improved in January 2018 with working legs and the capacity to walk. CNBC praised Sophia's lifelike skin and ability to mimic more than 60 facial emotions. Sophia is theoretically related to Eliza, a computer software that was one of the earliest attempts to simulate a human dialogue, like a chatbot. The software has been programmed to respond to certain inquiries or phrases with pre-written responses. These responses, which include standard answers to inquiries like, is the door open or shut, are used to provide the impression that the robot can understand speech. Hanson Robotics announced plans in 2017 to expose Sophia to a cloud environment via a decentralized blockchain marketplace. According to David Hanson, Sophia would be a strong fit for roles in healthcare, customer service, therapy, and education in the long run. Sophia demonstrated her abilities to draw, including portraits, in 2019. Being a first AI-powered humanoid robot, Sophia is not less than a public figure. 
Sofia was appointed the United Nations Development Programme's inaugural innovation champion for Asia and the Pacific on November 21, 2017. The statement was made at the Responsible Business Forum in Singapore, which was hosted by the United Nations Development Programme in Asia and the Pacific and Global Initiatives. Jaco Silius, UNDP Asia-Pacific Chief of Policy and Programme, awarded its first assignment on stage. Sophia has been questioned in the same way that a human would, striking up interactions with interviewers. Some responses have been illogical, while others have impressed interviewers such as Charlie Rose of 60 Minutes. When the interviewer voiced concern about robot behavior in a story of CNBC, Sophia remarked that he had read too much Elon Musk and viewing far too many Hollywood films. Musk suggested Sophia watch The Godfather and wondered, what's the worst that might happen? While the replies were not entirely bad, Business Insider's top UK editor, Jim Edwards, projected that Sophia was a step toward conversational artificial intelligence. A BBC News reporter described speaking with Sophia as a rather unpleasant experience at the 2018 Consumer Electronics Show. Sophia was introduced to the United Nations on October 11, 2017, with a brief interaction with Amina J. Muhammad, the United Nations Deputy Secretary General. A public figure is always exposed to criticism from all sides. Same is the case for Sophia, who has been criticized for her notable features. Experts who analyze the robot's open source code told Quartz that Sophia is best classified as a chatbot with a face. Many AI scientists are critical of Sophia's overblown presentation. If I show them a beautiful smiling robot face, they get the feeling that AGI, artificial general intelligence, may indeed be nearby and viable, says Ben Jertzel former chief scientist for the company that made Sophia. None of this is what I would call AGI, nor is it easy to implement. Sophia, according to Jertzel, used AI technologies such as face tracking, emotion detection, and robotic movements generated by deep neural networks. Sophia's discourse is generated by a decision tree, but it is uniquely connected with these outputs. The Verge claims Hansen frequently exaggerates and grossly misleads about Sophia's ability for consciousness, such as agreeing with Jimmy Fallon in 2017 that Sophia was essentially alive. Jertzel responds to the Hansen quote in a piece produced by CNBC, indicating that their own interview questions for Sophia were heavily rewritten by its creators, by suggesting Hansen means Sophia is alive in the same way that a piece of sculpture becomes alive in the sculpture's eyes as the work nears completion. Yan Li Chun, Facebook's Director of Artificial Intelligence, studied in January 2018 that Sophia was total crap and chastised the media for covering Potemkin AI. In response, Jertzel noted that he had never claimed Sophia had human-level intellect. Sophia is not just another AI-powered humanoid robot. She is a unique creation that brings together AI and robotic technologies in order to create a humanoid robot that can interact with humans and replicate some of their human gestures and behaviors. With a lot of hard work and research, this humanoid robot has become the first of its kind. What do you think about Sophia? Will Sophia, with human-like appearance and skills, be able to provide their owners with companionship and support? We are looking forward to your responses in comment section below. That concludes today's video. I hope to see you in the upcoming video. If you enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel and click the like button and the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video.